How do you say? Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video clip. Today I wanted to read three poems out of the book There Had to Have Been Someone. I came across this book when I was at the Folk Life Festival in Seattle uh, where I met Richard Gold and who is the founder and executive director of the Pongo Teen Writing Project. The Pongo Teen Writing Project goes into juvenile detention centers and helps the kids that are there really develop and express themselves through poetry. So with no further ado, I'd like to go ahead and read three poems. The first two are very different, and the third one just really speaks to me, so I really wanted to share that one as well. Um, so the first one I'll read is entitled, There Had to Have Been. There's no important person in my life. There just isn't. It hasn't always been this way. At some point, there had to have been a person that made me feel happy. As happy as my splat pink hair. At some point, there had to have been a person that made me feel loved. As loved as a small baby bluebird in mama's bluebird's nest. At some point, there had to have been a person that made me feel important. As important as the president at her inauguration. Right now, there's no important person in my life. But at some point, there had to have been. So I'll go on to the second poem. And this one is called My Dream. My most favorite entree is pork chops. I wash them off in water. I season them with pepper and salt, garlic powder and onions, red hot hot sauce. After that I sprinkle a little water and dip them in flour. It's a feeling of enjoyment I get when people taste my food. It makes me feel good inside to know that they enjoy something I made. Next is mac and cheese. Get a pot filled half with water, boil the water, cook the noodles, and when the noodles stick to the wall, they're done. Then I put them all in another pot. I get two cheeses, American and cheddar. I slice and dice the cheese into the pan and put the pan in the water. When it comes out, you get cheesy, gooey mac and cheese. It's a warm and fuzzy feeling I get when I remember the first time I ate mac and cheese. And that's exactly what I want my customers to feel when they come into my restaurant for the first time. Yum. And the last one is uh, really strikes a chord with me, so I'm going to go ahead and share this one. This will be the last poem. If you like it, I definitely encourage you to go check out the, uh, the book at pongoteenwritingproject.org, and I will go ahead and post a link on this video as well. This one is entitled Doors of Emotion. I'm opening up closed doors. Behind one door I find sadness. It's blue. It's boring. It's lonely. It makes you cry. Beyond another door, you see happy people enjoying things they like. You hate them because they're happy, and you're not. So you slam the door and move to the next one. The next door is terrifying. You see guns and drugs and people dying. It's a dangerous door to walk through. There's a door in my heart. It's so full that when you open it, everything comes tumbling down. All the frustrations, the joys, the hate, the love. Somewhere in there is a perfect life, a perfect me. All right, thank you. That'll do it.